bright duty every student matters now the prime minister the constitution provides there shall be a council of ministers with the prime minister at the head of the aid and advise the president actually he is the one who advises and who enjoys all the privileges of actual powers and the prime minister is the pivot on which the whole constitutional machinery turns because he is the one who is a major role player and he directs everything but with the consent of the president and president also acts upon his advice and the advice of his council ministers India has adopted a cabinet system of government and the real executive authority of the union is exercised by the prime minister and the council of ministers article 74 of the constitution lays down that there shall be a council of ministers with the prime minister at the head of the advice the president who shall in the exercise of the functions in the accordance with such advices any person who must be a citizen of india must be a member of either of house parliament if he is not he must become within 6 months of his appointment a leader of the majority party or one enjoys the majority support in the lok sabha he shall be appointed by the president in accordance with the well established parliamentary practice of inviting the leaders of the majority party in lok sabha president has discretionary power when no party or coalition commands majority in the lok sabha to appoint pm now the term of the office of prime minister it theoretically holds office during the pleasure of the president actually the prime minister stays in office as long as he enjoys the confidence of the parliament the normal term is 5 years but it is autom- automatically reduced if the house is dissolved earlier now how the elections of prime minister is taken place in india it is a direct election because we people are the one those who chose him voted to majority by the citizens by universal adult franchise that means a person who is 18 or 18 above can be done and this is the direct elections where the participation of the people are there and then fptp system of elections is also followed here now appointment of the prime minister is done by the president and he is a leader of the majority party president has option if no one is in the majority so he can choose it off there of his own now what are the functions of prime minister that is very very important he monitors the working elected the uh, head of the country he is a leader of the majority party he links president people parliament advises and forms president five selects council of ministers distribute portfolios expand or demand resignation and monitors the working as well so the major functioning of the country is in the hand of prime minister power of prime minister that is your legislative power he is the leader of the lok sabha he fixes the program of the parliament he makes important policy statements in the parliament he defends the policies of the government in the parliament director of the foreign policy director of indian economy recommends resolution of the lok sabha as well executive powers a uh, formation of council of ministers he appoints and removes and distributes portfolios to the ministers because he is the one who advises president for all these things and he presides the meetings of the cabinet leader of the council of ministers and he prepares a list of various important appointments such as those of governors judges of supreme and high court members of upsc election commission ambassadors and high commissioners these appointments are however made by the president but without his advice he cannot give the accent so just because of these two people have a great bond for the uh appointments of these high dignitaries and without these two people it is not possible in india prime ministers of india the first prime minister was pandit jawahar lal nehru gulzari lal nanda was a second one lal bahadur shastri gulzari lal nanda was again elected indira gandhi murari the sai charan singh and again indira gandhi rajiv gandhi vishwanath pratap singh chandrashekar pv narsimha rao atal bihari bajpayee hd devagoda indra kumar gujral and atal bihari bajpayee and manmohan singh and latest is mr narendra modi He sworn in on May twenty six, two thousand fourteen. This is the list of the prime ministers. Now, the Union Council of Ministers. A minister must be a member of either house of parliament. If a person who is not a member of either house of parliament is appointed a minister, he shall cease to be minister after six months, unless in the meanwhile he manages to get elected to either of the two houses. Ministers may be chosen four members of either house and a minister. who is a member of one house has right to speak and and to take part in the proceedings of the other house so he has no right to vote in the house of which he is not a member cabinet ministers of india now the categories of ministers cabinet ministers of state and deputy
Now, who is CM? Most important leaders of the party are included in the come. They hold uh, important portfolios and decide major policies of the government. Receive uh, monthly salary and stipend allowances every month. And then, ministers of state belong to second category of ministers. May or may not be given an independent charge of ministry. PM may or may not consult them. Are not the members of the cabinet and don't participate in the CM. Unless specially invited, are paid a monthly salary and some cherry allowances each month. And deputy ministers are junior. Most ministers assist cabinet ministers and council ministers are not entrusted with an independent charge of ministry paid monthly. Now the council of ministers are ministers of state and deputy ministers. Works through various department, defence, industry, agriculture, etc. The each department is known as portfolio. Deputy ministers help cabinet ministers and ministers of state. Now these ministers, they enjoy the different uh, departments. They enjoy the different ministries, whether it is defense, industry, agriculture, etc. Now what happens when all these ministers they uh, enjoy the independent charge of these particular areas? Then they have particularly uh, few policies and uh, ideas, and they make uh, the strategies how to implement all these things. Uh, in particular department, then they are responsible for that department only, and they don't interfere in the others. But all these departments are interconnected as well, and the department which they get to deal in with are called the portfolios, and these portfolios are provided by the prime minister, but with president's assent. And the second thing is, president give uh, okay to these uh, portfolios, but uh, the prime minister advises him. To that to uh, whom uh, we have to give which uh, portfolio and the deputy ministers they help the cabinet ministers and ministers of the state as well. Now the uh, powers of uh, council ministers. So the executive uh, powers are the ministry exercises all the executive powers. All the departments of government are under the control of minister, and it is the responsibility to run the administration smoothly. The council of ministers lays down the policy of government in the light of the department work is. Carried out, and the Council of Ministers executes a decision taken by the cabinet. They maintain order and peace in the states, and all the big and important appointments are made on the advice of the Council of Ministers. Now, what is the collective responsibility of all these? All members of coll uh, council works as team and jointly responsible to the parliament for any decision taken by council. Because this is very true, only prime minister or the president are not the one those who can run the country. We need the people, those who can implement all those things. So, council of ministers work as a team as well. And no confidence motion. Everyone has to resign from council and sail and sink together. Now, forms of executive, political executive, and permanent. And where we have already read, president, prime minister, and ministers who are responsible with framing of policy, and civil servants who are responsible for day-to-day -day administration. The executive are uh, the president of India. Executive Council of Ministers, Parliament, Rajya Sabha, Lok Sabha, and uh, Rajya Sabha has maximum two fifty numbers and maximum five fifty two numbers are in Lok Sabha. Elected are two thirty six and nominated are twelve in Rajya Sabha and state at five thirty and twenty union territories and two Anglo Indians. The bureaucracy. The bureaucracy. The meaning of bureaucracy. Futures of bureaucracy. Uh, that is function of bureaucracy, bureaucracy and public policy, bureaucratic accountability and bureaucratic reform. Refers to the career bureaucrats who are permanent executive branch of the Republic of India. As I told you, they are the one those who are being appointed and they are the civil servants and civil service system is the backbone of the administrative machinery of the country and responsible for day to day administration. A system of administration distinguished by its clear hierarchy of authority. It is a rigid division of labor and written and inflexible rules, regulation and procedures. Once instituted, bureaucracies are difficult to dislodge or change. They work for their political masters. The ministers lay down the policy and it is for the civil servants who serve at the pleasure of the President of India to carry it out. However, Article 311 of the Constitution protects them and politically motivated or vindictive action. The Council of Ministers. The ministers are appointed by the President on the advice of the Prime Minister. It is his right to have a government which can work together as a team and which can secure the support of the Lok Sabha. But the Prime Minister has also to bear in mind that as far as possible, all the major communities and geographical regions of the country find a representation in the ministry. 
as regards size of the council of ministers the constitution 91st amendment act 2003 stated quite categorically that the total number of ministers including the prime minister shall not exceed 15% of the total number of members of the house of the people size of the council of ministers and the cabinet minister minister of state minister of state legislative functions administrative functions financial functions diplomatic functions appointments proclamation of emergency and coordinating functions are the power and functions of the cabinet formulating the policy of the government uh, it is the development of the certain policy or review of existing policies for better results as policies are made executed or reviewed in a process that includes setting of goals or agenda formulation adaptation implementation and evaluation imbig explains policy formulation stage to involve the following definition and clarification of goals description of trends analysis of conditions projection of future developments evaluation and selection of alternatives and choosing the preferred option that the administrative functions the cabinet is essentially a policy framing body when it has determined on a policy and as appropriate department carries it out with respect the working of their departments ministers must faithfully follow the directions of the cabinet and it controls over the national finances also the expenditure of government and for raising necessary revenues to meet a money bill can be introduced in the lok sabha and only by the ministers then the legislative functions also includes a procedural rules delineate the agency's internal operating structures and methods interpretative rules of the uh, offers the agency's views of the meaning of those statutes for which the agency has administrative responsibility and they do not um, uh, have the force of law but they are important expressions of opinion as to what the governing legislation requires and uh, legislative rules are policy expressions having the effect of law the agency is exercising and law making function delegated to it by legislature proclamation of emergency if the president is satisfied that a grave emergency exists whereby the security of india or for any part of the territory their office threatened whether by war or external aggression or armed rebellion or maybe proclamation make a declaration of that effect in respect of whole of india ministerial responsibility is a fundamental constitutional principle in british westminster parliament system according to which minister is responsible to the parliament to the conduct of ministry and government and according to lord salisbury it is only the principle that absolute responsibility is undertaken by every member of the cabinet who offer a decision is arrived and remains a member at that joint responsibility of minister to parliament can be upheld and one of the most essential principles of parliamentary responsibility established and the principle of ministerial responsibility is the essence of collective responsibility also i was jennings is that minister must move with the government speak in defense or if it prime minister insists that he cannot uh, afterwards rejects criticism of his act either in the parliament in the constituencies or in the ground that he did not agree the decision parliamentary government is president pm and the council of ministers and which is responsible to the lok sabha individually and collectively and rajya sabha members have right to ask questions the powers of a governor the executive powers legislative judiciary financial emergency discretionary and governors is the part 2 of this chapter the governor is they possess he is executive legislative financial and judicial powers analogs to the president of india no diplomatic military or emergency powers like president of india he has executive powers which are the action of government in the name of governor governor can make rules specifying the manner in which orders and other instruments made executed in his name shall be authenticated governor can make rules for more convenient transaction of business of the state government and for allocation among the ministers of the said business On 7 May 2010 the Supreme Court disapproved the practice of replacing governors in an arbitrary manner with a change of government at the center and the Supreme Court held that a governor could be replaced only under compelling circumstances or reasons such as for proven misconduct or other irregularities and removal of governors cannot be on political grounds in case the removal was malafide or irregular the court suggests the decision would be subject to judicial scrutiny and the court could uh, seek the reason and explanation behind the action the governor the chief minister the other minister this is the structure of state executive he plays the same role as the president and the chief minister plays the same role as the prime minister and the chief minister is the head of the council of ministers he is the advisor the governor appointed by the governor and employed with the whole system of the state government same as it works as like prime minister and other ministers appointed by the governor on the advice of chief minister governor to administer the oaths of office and secrecy collectively responsible to the legislative assembly and exercise executive legislative and financial powers 
the executive powers of the governor uh, uh, like it carries out enforces and administer all federal laws article 2 section 3 he shall take care that the laws be faithfully executed ordinance power is the power of president to issue an executive power and a directive rule or regulation that has the effect of law and power to hire subordinates removal power to fire subordinates legislative powers to coin money to make laws to support the military to declare war to establish a post office to regulate commerce to borrow money powers of the president we have already done there are three types of powers financial and judicial uh, powers uh, laid before the parliament of annual financial statement reports of auditor general of india relating to the accounts of gi and recommendations made by the finance commission and annual report of the union public service commission and contingency fund for unforeseen uh, expenditure expenditure must be approved by the parliament judicial powers a president is above law not just a scrutiny of any court a bar judge and the judges of supreme court and high court and uh, article 143 he can ask uh, supreme court any question of law or fact of public importance for its advisory opinion approval is necessary for the rules made by supreme court for regulating practice and procedure of the court the chief minister is the head of the council of the ministers and the chief minister is the real executive head of the state and he has the same role as the prime minister has in the nation national level and he is are having the same role at the state level the governor appoints him and the other ministers are appointed by the governor on the advice of chief minister they shall hold office during the pleasure of the governor the real meaning of this expression is that the ministers remain in the office so long as they retain the confidence of the legislative assembly powers are the chief minister recommends the persons who can be appointed as ministers by the governor he allocates the portfolios among the ministers he shuffles the reshuffles his ministry the chief minister and his powers and functions the governor appoints the leader of the majority party in the state legislative assembly as a chief minister he is the head of the state council of ministers the chief minister must be member of the state legislature powers are presides over meeting of the council of ministers and shows the principle of collective responsibility communicates all decisions of all comni- council of ministers and administrative affairs proposals of legislation on the governor when called for and places matter for consideration of council of ministers where governors require him to uh, have the decision of the government and channel of communication between governor and his ministers sole channel of communication uh, between the ministers and legislature bills resolution moved in legislature must have his approval and the chief minister is the link between council of the ministers and the governor the chief minister is the leader of the legislative assembly he selects the ministers in the council of ministers as the head of the council he allocates the portfolios of department to them the cm is the main link between the governor and the state cabinet and generally the governor exercises all his functions on the advice of chief ministers it is his duty to communicate to the governor of all decisions of the council of ministers as the chief spokesperson of the state government all important announcements on behalf of government is made by him provisions regarding prime minister and the council of ministers are there will be a prime minister in the council of ministers to aid and assist the president of india and uh, the president shall administer the oath of secrecy of minister the total number of ministers including the prime minister shall not exceed 15% of the total strength of lok sabha the salaries and allowances of all ministers shall be determined by the parliament formation of a uh, ministry the chief minister has a free hand in preparing the list of colleagues assigning departments of portfolios to the ministers by the governor on the advice of chief minister removal of ministers is also uh, like pleasure of the governor in fact the chief minister may ask anyone of a colleague to resign it, it he, if he declines he will be dismissed by the governor chief minister presides over the mi- meetings as chair man of the cabinet of chief minister controls the agenda of the cabinet meeting it matters the public order agricultural production supply and distribution of goods he plays a special role in directing the policy, policy of the government and in relation to council of ministers he recommends persons who can be appointed as ministers by the president <clears throat> the president can appoint only those persons as ministers who are recommended by the prime minister he allocates the reshuffles various portfolios among them now let's revise the chapter who is the chief coordinator of the cabinet the prime minister distributes the portfolios among the minister prime minister and who has a power to dismiss or remove a minister from union council of ministers on the advice of prime minister the president can dismiss or remove minister from union council of ministers and the distinction between the cabinet and council of ministers the council of minister consists of all the ministers whereas cabinet consists of few ministers who presides over the meeting of the union council of the minister the prime minister presides over the meetings of the union council of ministers and the president president vice president uh, prime minister of india president president is shri ramnath kovit vice president is shri venkaiah nadu and prime minister is shri narendra modi
and mentioned one function of the council of ministers an important function of the council of ministers is to determine its internal and external policy according to which the administration of the state is to run who is at the head of the union council of ministers prime minister is the head of the union council of ministers who appoints the prime minister the prime minister is appointed by the president and the prime minister is the chief advisor of the president and under what circumstances the president may exercise his discretion in selecting the prime minister if no party or coalition secures a clear cut majority in the lok sabha then the president can exercise his discretion in selecting the prime minister and what is the term of the prime minister the prime minister does not have a fixed tenure of office he remains in office as long as he enjoys the support of the majority party what is executive executive is that organ of the government which enforces the will of the legislature expressed in the form of laws the legislature makes laws and executive is charged with the responsibility of giving effect to these laws besides it keeps law and order in the country in check it also protects the life and property of the people and maintains internal peace by putting down all those factors that disturb the peace of the country in face it is executive that runs the administration of the country in other words it is government in itself parliamentary type of government is also called cabinet government in this form of government there is a nominal head of the state and all executive powers are exercised by cabinet of ministers these ministers are usually members of the legislature for their action and policies they attend the meetings of the legislature and answer the questions put to them by the members of the legislature if the legislature passes a vote of no confidence against them they resign their offices Now, what is the distinguish between the cabinet and the council of ministers? In the constitution, the words council of ministers are used and not the word cabinet. The cabinet is a part of the council of ministers. The council of ministers consists of about seventy ministers. It includes three types of ministers, and the cabinet consists of cabinet ministers only. The cabinet consists twenty members, and cabinet is more important than the council of ministers. All decisions of cabinet are to be carried off forward by the members of the council of ministers. The cabinet ministers gets higher salary than the other ministers. the prime minister is the keystone of the cabinet arch the prime minister is the leader of the cabinet he is called the keystone of the cabinet arch he exercises the following powers regarding the cabinet the prime minister is the maker of the cabinet he prepares a list of ministers according to his sweet will ministers are appointed by the president but on the advice of prime minister and number of council ministers depend on the prime minister the prime minister distributes portfolios among ministers he can change the department of any minister he presides over the meetings of the cabinet he can call the meetings of the cabinet whenever he likes the prime minister prepares the agenda of the meeting as well as controls it thanks for watching the video and use it as a support material hope it will help you in your studies thank you see you in the next chapter